was of narcotics. Rose was 42 years old. Dr. Martin Luther King says he does not intend to cancel plans for the Met Housing March Sunday in the Chicago suburb of Cicero. We will not be sure of which will be asked to call off the march, and the police in Cicero said they would ask the National Guard to be called out if it is held. King now in Atlanta, Georgia, plans to return to Chicago Tuesday. In Chicago, Richard Speck, accused murderer of nine student nurses, was brought before a grand jury to pay for indictment. The nurses were found stabbed and strangled in their Chicago apartment. In Washington, the atmosphere was tense. Today, as a special subcommittee of the House Committee on Automatic Activities continued its probe into anti-Vietnam war protests, demonstrators were forcibly evicted from the areas where they began chanting anti-war slogans. Vice President Richard Nixon says that unless there is a substantial increase in the present war effort in Vietnam, the U.S. should look forward to five more years of war. In a speech before the Convention on the Veterans of Foreign Wars in New York, Nixon also said opposition to the war in this country is the greatest single weapon working against the U.S. That's the 7 o'clock edition of the news. Good night.